making a really quick video um, for people that are struggling still to make the G chord correct. And I'm going to give you two different things to think about. The first one is if you can make the G chord quickly, that's not a problem. But you find that this finger is muting this string right there. So you get this sort of kind of sound like that. Then Really what we want to do is we want to change the geometry of these fingers. They're coming in to level, at least this one is, with the strings. And I'm going to, I'm going to turn like this and I just want you to see the difference. So this is with it touching the string. Sometimes you think if I just press harder, but that's really not what happens. I want you to watch right here. It's just that much of a turn. Not a lot. We're not doing something crazy like this. but just need to do that and now my fingers are coming more straight down on the strings the curvature of my fingers makes it so that when the fingertips contact the strings they're getting very close to straight up and down like 90 degrees to the fingerboard again is this wrong is that correct it's not much it's just the tiniest bit obviously if you have long long fingernails that's going to be an issue i've seen people with long fingernails play and do this successfully. I'm not sure how that happens. But if you're still struggling with muting the strings, okay, so that's problem number one. Two, if you're just struggling getting your fingers in the right place, then I'm gonna give you an alternative exercise that can really help. So let's say I'm on my C chord, and then I'm gonna go like this so you can see my fingers. And I go to my F chord, okay. The problem here, when you go like this, is that you have three fingers to place, and your brain doesn't know, well, your fingers don't know who's in charge. So here's the exercise, C chord, F chord. Now all we're going to do is we're going to drop this middle finger here that's on fret 2, 4th string 4, down to the bottom, like that. And that's your first, like that. Then we're going to pivot, put that finger on there, right, so that you're making a G6 chord. And then you place that one on there. The key to this, from my F chord, is to say first that drops, then that pivots around, and then that goes on. Okay? Drop that there and there. Middle finger drops down to the bottom, right? Notice my first finger staying on there, so it's not inaccurate on where I place this. Just like that. And then there. And there. Eventually, this one comes down, that one goes there very quickly, and that places. Drop, pivot add right and, okay so if you're still having problems getting your fingers on there it's like ah oh, which one or er, stupid hand train like this F chord drop the middle finger to there pivot and then okay pretty soon it looks like you're doing everything in one go but the middle finger is still leading like still happening that that's there and these guys come down right after hope that helps um usually if you're having problems making something happen it's very small little things like from here to just you know that much right of a change in your hand or if you can just get this finger to get down there correctly it all goes well okay all right good luck with that